Good morning to all who gather here in worship today, both near and far. Let's enjoy the love of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My name is Bill Slingerland, and I'm privileged to serve here as lay leader at Haygood United Methodist Church in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Pastor Tammy Eastep, Ms. Lori Mikulochik, Carol Peterson, Keith Best, our soloist Marcia Sokolowski, and our talented praise band all welcome friends, family, and visitors on this Trinity Sunday. A reminder that we'll be hosting a virtual town hall meeting next Sunday, June 14th, immediately after our 10 a.m. live streaming worship service. This town hall will be conducted to discuss our plans for returning to in-person worship. There will be time for questions and answers. Your Healthy Church team has been busy examining options that will offer a safe worship experience, observing the guidelines set by Governor Northam and our bishop. We are interested in your intentions and value your input. You'll be invited to respond to a short survey that will be helpful as the team plans our return to end worship, in-person worship. Today, we take time to honor our graduates. We celebrate these young people as they mark important milestones in their lives under very unique circumstances. Jolie Day graduated from Princess Anne High School. She plans to attend Tidewater Community College for nursing in the fall. Kiana Hill graduated from P Princess Anne High School. She's currently working and undecided on future education plans. Lydia Machado will be graduating from homeschool. She plans to attend cosmetology school in the fall. Chevelle Samuels graduated from Lansdown High School. She'll be attending either Virginia Wesleyan University or Norfolk State University for electrical engineering in the fall. Shelby Day graduated from Radford University. She'll be pursuing her master's in special education at Radford. Rachel Stone graduated from James Madison University. She'll be pursuing her master's in occupational therapy at JMU. Cassie Altamirano graduated from the University of South Carolina. She'll be pursuing her master's at VCU's School of Dentistry. Audrey Porter graduated from James Madison University with a Master of Arts in Teaching. And finally, Cartavius Hill graduated from boot camp on May 1st from the United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi Marine. Congratulations to all for their, these wonderful achievements. We pray for their continued success, safety, and happiness. The people of Haygood United Methodist Church have been in a 24-hour prayer vigil this weekend, praying for God's direction and next steps for our church's ministry, prayers for our church's witness in this world and prayers for our country in this critical time. Today is Trinity Sunday when we celebrate that God comes to us as three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, creator, redeemer, and sustainer of us all. This is a picture of Alexander Rublev's icon of the Trinity. You'll notice that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit are seated around the table. Notice that the fourth side of the table facing you is open. You and I are invited to join the three in one at the Lord's table to share in the sacrament of Holy Communion. No matter who you are, there's a place at the Lord's table for you.
Please pray with me in our opening prayer. O holy God, three in one, we are saved by the grace of Jesus the Christ. We are bound together by the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We are created in the love of God. Holy God, three in one, be with us as we pray and as we worship you this day. Amen. Ms. Lori is now going to share a message with children of all ages. Good morning! How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are having a great week. So today, did you guys hear what Sunday today is? It's called Trinity Sunday. And what do you think of when you hear Trinity? I bet you think of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Because that's what we hear in church, right? So, we're going to draw a picture now to help us look at this a little bit more. Now, when we think about this, I'm going to put three dots on my board. So I'm going to have one, two, and three. So as you can see, I have three dots on my board. Now, each one of these dots are going to represent a different part of God. So the top one, we're going to put down Father. So we have God the Father. And then on one of these bottom ones, we're going to write Son. Because we have God the Son. Which who's that again? That's right, it's Jesus. So we're going to write Jesus right below here. And then on this last dot, we're going to write Holy Spirit. Because that's the last form of God. So we have him right here on the corner here. So, as you can see, we have our three things. Now, when people talk about the Trinity, a lot of times they'll use a triangle. So we're going to take our three points here, and we're going to make a triangle. Because just like God, even though it's three separate things, it's one all together. They're all God. So now we have our triangle. So as you can see, we have our triangle here. Now, what if I add an extra dot? What if I put this dot right in the middle of our triangle? So I'm going to put a dot here. See this dot now? I got one right here. And you know who this dot is? This dot is going to be you. You, me, anybody. It's going to be you is what I'm going to write. Now, you're this dot in the middle. And with this dot, we're being called into relationship with all of these forms of God. So we're being called into relationship with God the Father, with God the Son, a relationship with Jesus, and with God, the Holy Spirit. Now look at this. Look at what we did. We just made more triangles. So from you having a relationship with God as our Father, as the Son, as the Holy Spirit, we were able to make more triangles. And what if, in those triangles, we invite more people to church? And they get more dots. And those people form a relationship with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, each one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Look at how many more triangles we created. If we keep doing this and keep um, forming, our, if we form a relationship with God and we bring other people into a relationship with God, it will keep creating triangles. And we can keep growing and growing as Christians and showing more and more people the love of God. And it all starts with that one triangle of God. With God our Father, God our Son, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And when you come into a relationship, look at all the possibilities there are. Look at all the people that you can show God's love to. That's pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and turn to God in prayer now. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads, and all of you at home, repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. For being God the Father. For being God the Father. God the Son. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and God the Holy Spirit, help us, help us, to form a strong relationship, to form a strong relationship, with you, with you, so we may, so we may, invite others, invite others, into relationships with you, into relationships with you, in Jesus' name we pray, in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Thank you, Ms. Lori. And now, not because we have to, but because we are grateful, let us return to God what is ours to share. Let us joyfully offer our time, our treasure, our commitment, and our prayers.
Almighty God, we offer our gifts in gratitude this morning, not just for what you do in our lives, but for who you are in our lives. You are with us in the person of the Father, the God above us. You come to meet us as the Son, as God beside us. You empower us to do the work of kingdom building by the Holy Spirit, God within us, providing strength and boldness that we would never find on our own. May these gifts be tools that make the transformation of the world a reality. We pray in the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's about it, friends. Be cheerful. Keep things in good repair. Keep your spirits up. Think in harmony. Be agreeable. Do all that, and God's love and peace will be with you for sure. Greet one another with a holy embrace. All you brothers and sisters here, say hello. The amazing grace of the Master Jesus Christ. The extravagant love of God. The intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit. Be with all of you. Second Corinthians 13 verses 11 through 14. This is the word. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let us pray. The Holy God, for the gift of this time to come away from all that is happening in our world, to be together as one, to be in your presence as a three in one who becomes four. Pour out your spirit upon us, empower us with your word, and bless us this day. In thy holy name we pray, amen. Won't you come and take your place here at the table of grace? There is a place waiting for you here at the Lord's table. Won't you come and pull up a chair and rest a while? It's been a hard couple of weeks with the pandemic of COVID-19, with deaths uh, equaling over 107,000 in the United States alone with the one-year anniversary of the shootings of, at Building 2 in our Virginia Beach complex, with the unjust systemic racism that continues to kill black men and women and children senselessly, and with the seventh, 76th anniversary of D-Day and the reminder of the impact of war, and with whatever else is going on in your own lives, come here to the Lord's table. It's been a tough couple of weeks, and we are grateful for the time that Hey Good United Methodist Church has spent together in prayer during these last 24 hours, beginning from noon yesterday, and we'll go till noon today. I want to thank all of you for your prayers and your holy listening. Together we pray for our world, we have prayed for our leaders, we have prayed for an end to racism, we have prayed for a vaccine to end the COVID-19 virus, we have prayed for those who are serving on the front lines in every aspect, and we have prayed for individuals that are on our hearts. And we have prayed for the ministry of this church here at this crossroads. Will you keep those prayers coming for our world and for the ministry of this church? Will you come and take your place at the Lord's table and experience God's extravagant love, Jesus' amazing grace, and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit? As Bill mentioned in our call to worship, today is Trinity Sunday. 
So today we celebrate God who is the three in one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three in one, creator, redeemer, and sustainer. This icon of the Trinity painted by Alexander Rubloff shows God here seated on this side of the table with Jesus in the center and the Holy Spirit on the other side of the table. Notice that there is a space here in the center for you and me to join at the table. You can see that Jesus and God's heads are facing each other because Jesus is the fulfillment, the embodiment of God's word made flesh. The son gets his cues from the father. But notice how Jesus' body is turned toward the Holy Spirit because it is Jesus' death and his resurrection and his ascension that makes way for the Holy Spirit to move and act and invite you and me to the table. And when we join the table, we become the fourth. We become the fourth person at the table. We become the epitome of God's very image of the kingdom of God here at work in the world. So come and take your place at the table. The Spirit of God continues to invite us to come. To come and sit a while with God. And to be with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. To experience the three in one. That intimate and holy relationship with God and with each other. God the three in one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer, this Trinity is not just a theological tenet or belief or description, but it is the reflection of the reign of God among us here on earth. The Trinity, the three in one, is a holy presence. It's a holy relationship that you and I are invited into. We are invited to commune with one another. With one another at the table with the Trinity and becoming the true communion of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the Church, the body of Christ alive in the world. The Holy Three in One becomes four when we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and when we love our neighbor as ourselves. This Holy Table of Four is the embodiment of the Kingdom of God here on earth, as it is in heaven. And it calls us into a holy relationship with God and with each other. Today, God the Three in One invites us all to join in at the table in the holy relationship, to share in holy communion, to be a holy fellowship, to be the extravagant love of God in this world to be the amazing grace of Jesus Christ, to be the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit with each other in the world. Here at this table, we ponder how we will live in a holy relationship with each other in the midst of our differences and our sameness. We wonder how we will live in a holy relationship with God and with each other and by seeking the well-being of everyone. We are called to this table of grace. How will we live in peace and in harmony with each other, with everyone in this world? Important questions to ask and for us to ponder on this Trinity Sunday. And with all that is happening in our world, how will we live in relationship with each other? knowing that we are called to be part of this holy communion, the fourth side of the table, this relationship of which God moves from God to Jesus to the Holy Spirit to us and us back to God again. Won't you come to the table of friendship? Won't you enter into the holy relationship with the Trinity and commune with each other so that the table is complete? So that three becomes four. Come to the table of peace and receive the holy blessing from God, the three in one.
the amazing grace of Jesus the Christ, the extravagant love of God, and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Communion Sunday. When we gather at the table of grace to receive the bread and the cup. Notice that in the middle of the table is a chalice. You don't find any bread there because the bread of life is seated at the table above the chalice. Today, because of the pandemic, we are not allowed to take communion. It's not safe for us to share the bread and the cup with one another. So today we're going to experience a spiritual communion. So I invite you to take your hands and cup them together as you would to receive the bread from the servers. And as you open your hands, open your hearts to receive whatever it is that God has for you this day. To receive the bread of life that comes to us in the three in one that becomes four. Sit in the silence at the Lord's table. Receive the gift that God has for you this day. Receive a blessing for nourishment, a blessing for the journey, and a gift of refreshment for the days to come. Let us pray. Oh, holy God, our hands are open. Our hearts are open to receive the gift of life that you give to us this day. You know the hunger of our hearts. You know the tears that we have shed. You know the joys that we have experienced. You know the dreams that have been shattered and the dreams we continue to hope for. And we pray, oh God, that you would come. Come and bring peace to our world. Come and bring an end to racism and injustice that continues to limit our relationships with each other, that keeps us from the table with one another. And that keeps the Holy Three from becoming the Holy Four. We offer prayers for the witness of the church to exemplify and offer the extravagant love of God, the grace of Jesus the Christ, and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit in this hurting world. We remember on this anniversary of D-Day, our military that were lost and our military that gained freedom for us. Remember all those whose lives were impacted by this day. And we continue to pray for all those on the front lines. Today we pray that we might live in such a holy relationship with you that we do no harm. That we do nothing but good. And that we stay in love with you as we join in the three in one at the table of grace and become four. Oh God, this day we pray for Margie Hollis, for Francis Hootman, for Sheila Gurney, for Peggy Stone. We pray for Chuck Cronenberg. We pray for Nick Dyes and all those on the USNS Comfort. We pray for Jeff Loggle facing surgery tomorrow. We pray for Agnes, Vicki Krim's mom, who's isolated in her room because of an outbreak of COVID-19 in her facility. We pray for an end to injustice. We pray for our graduates. We pray for Dolores' stepfather, Robert Schutz. We pray for those who don't have access to Facebook Live and miss worshiping with this community. And we welcome all those who join us. Oh God, we give thanks and rejoice in Lee Piasson's 90th birthday today. 
And we are grateful for his life and his witness among us and his own service to his country. And we pray, O oh God, for your church, for its witness in this world. May we be a reflection of the Holy Four, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the church, the body of Christ alive in the world. And may we live in such holy relationships with one another that people come to experience the amazing grace of Jesus Christ, the extravagant love of God, and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
Amen. The peace of Christ be with you. Go out into the world and be a witness and a sign. Be the fourth person at the table. Be in that holy relationship and share the amazing grace of Jesus Christ, the extravagant love of God, and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit. Go in the name of God, our Creator, Christ our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our Sustainer.